Hi Year 12s, it's Mr Lim again and I promise this will be a short video about the uh, primary, secondary and tertiary structures of alcohols. All right, so we're going to be learning about uh, primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols and just be able to identify which one's which. Okay, so alcohols again, position of the alcohol changes the way that the alcohol reacts. Reacts. So that, uh, so we classify alcohols by the position uh, of their alcohol functional group. Okay, so there are three types, primary, secondary and tertiary. Okay, so primary alcohols are defined when alcohol functional groups are on the terminal or end carbon. So what does that look like? Okay, uh, here's a carbon chain. Here's the alcohol functional group. And it's on the end carbon. Okay, there is no more carbons on that one there. It's only bonded to one other carbon. Okay, so bonded to one other carbon. That would be another definition of primary alcohol. Okay, a secondary alcohol when the alcohol functional group is on a carbon which is bonded to two other carbons okay so that generally means that it's in the middle of the uh, chain so if it's alcohol group here okay so remember a couple of things make sure that when you're drawing your lines okay they've got to go to the uh, the atom that it is actually bonding to in which case this is the oxygen okay so if you were to draw another alcohol group like this that would be incorrect okay and I guess it's more important when you do it like that okay that would be very incorrect with the uh, bond showing that it's attached to the uh, to the um, hydrogen instead of the oxygen okay so that one here is when the alcohol functional group is on the carbon which is bonded to two other carbons one two okay and then tertiary alcohol when the alcohol functional group is on a carbon which is bonded to three other carbons okay so if you want it here on that one you're going to have to add a couple of extra carbons in here okay so carbon there and the carbon there and now this carbon is now bonded to the carbon that is attached to the alcohol group is bonded to one two three other carbons okay that's a tertiary alcohol okay so let's have a look at this one here Here's the alcohol functional group. Here's the carbon it's bonded to. It's bonded to one, two other carbons. So this is a secondary alcohol. Okay. Let's have a look at this one here. Here's the alcohol group. Here's the carbon it's bonded to. It's bonded to one other carbon. That makes it a primary alcohol. And you'll notice that it's the alcohol group is attached to the end of the chain terminal carbon okay let's have a look here here's the alcohol group it's bonded to this carbon which is bonded to one two three other carbons which means it's a tertiary alcohol okay nice and easy last one here's your alcohol group okay now you'll notice something special about this alcohol of uh, this alcohol it's a cyclic alcohol all right this is the carbon it's bonded to and it's bonded to one two other carbons all right bonded directly to those two other carbons right not just the fact that it's bonded to another one here via those other two it's just how many they're bonded to directly okay what type of alcohol is this then it's secondary alcohol here's a question can you have a primary alcohol on an on a cyclic yes you can trick question course you can right let's imagine that this is a carbon here instead of a hydrogen if that was a carbon there you can have an alcohol group attached to it and this carbon which it's attached to is only bonded to one of a carbon making it a primary alcohol okay so yes you can have primary alcohols but they can't be bonded to the carbons within the ring okay uh, for a cyclic structure and look much shorter that's it adios